Ladies and lentil beans, today is January 27th, 2014, and this is The King Kale Show, episode 157. I'm your host, Keenan Lafferty, and today is Emma Monday, where we like to jump off of the high dive and dive into the pool of our beloved comic, Emma. And today we're just going to be kind of doing some sketches, nothing really super planned. I've been super busy working all day. Not that you really care about that. Let's move into our announcements. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting me on the Patreon. You're helping me to make the comic with your hard-earned cash, and I'm sending you guys awesome stuff in return. Our next goal is actually 300 bucks, and basically you can pledge as little or as much as you want. And once that number hits $300, $300, I'll be sending you guys these prints. Fresh prints. I offer fresh prints to you, right? So you can be getting one of those. For as low as a dollar. Last thing I want to say is these big posters, the limited edition golden seal numbered posters, I only got 15 of these left. So thank you to everyone who's been buying them. If you want to have one of these for yourself, get one now because these are never going to be printed again. Last thing I'm going to say is I must share this awesome fan art sent in by... Who is this? Who did this? Who made this? Carlos Eduardo, thank you so much for sending this awesome, beautiful picture of Emma in. Really, really great style. I was super excited about that. And last, yeah, go check out page 16 if you haven't done that already. All right, peoples. Let's get into the blank canvas, right? We're, we're just going to be doing all that stuff. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I'm going to have the link down in the bottom right. So if you're curious about Patreon, helping support the comic, getting cool stuff in return, you can just click that link at any time during the show. How convenient is that? Okay, so um, with the recent release of page 16, it's brought a couple things to my attention. It's brought a couple things to my attention, one of which, uh, hoping that the mic was not turned off, which it appears everything is going right, everything is, is going good. Uh, and second of all, that I've been having some issues. I've been having a, a couple issues with really trying to just quickly draw the characters, or just trying to like nail down emotions with, with Emma and Nico. Okay, and this is, this is the comic we're talking We're talking about the comic. Today's Emma Monday, we're talking about the comic. So, um, today basically what I'm going to be doing is just, I don't know, just sketching whatever the heck I want. Um, and I uh, just had a great idea, since you guys are all here watching live, why not involve you? Why not involve the audience? So if you want to see me draw anything relating to Emma, the online comic, Emma and Nico, your favorite character, just go ahead and post that in the chat and I will consider it. If it is appropriate, no inappropriate things, those will be saved for later, secret stream. <laughs> yeah, in the meantime, uh, go ahead and post whatever you want me to draw. And I'll draw it for you, relating to comic, or something I can draw in the style, maybe. I don't know. Whatever you want. But I've been drawing a lot of, like, these quick Emmas. I've been drawing a lot of quick Emmas uh, just on, like, the backs of these posters and stuff, and I, it's made me realize that I just, I really want to get good at drawing these characters fast. I really want to get good at drawing these characters really quickly. But sometimes I just have I have trouble doing it. And I don't know why. You think it would be easy because they're my characters, right? You just chalk it up as you know, oh, it's my style. The style's changing. They look different in every panel. No, no, it's my style. That's it's supposed to be that way. You're supposed to be confused. It's supposed to be um, inconsistent. Okay. This is the basic gist of Emma. I think the biggest thing that really... I'm going to try to just draw a bunch of Emma faces over and over and over again. I think the main thing that goes into making Emma is this dividing line right here. Like, if you divide this circle in half, just below that is where her eyes begin. Like, the edges right here, you know, if you, like, draw them straight out, that's where the edges of her eyes begin. And they can go up and down and all that stuff. The important thing is, is these two lines. So it's halfway uh, on the circle, then just below that is where her eyes start. Then halfway between halfway is where the bottoms of her eyes are. That's usually how I gauge that. That's usually how I go about gauging that. But yeah, I hope you guys had a great weekend. I know I had a great one myself. I actually went to San Diego to watch my little brother graduate from Marine Academy, a Marine Boot Camp Academy, whatever, whatever you want to call it. 
<laughs> this isn't StarCraft. It's not not the Academy. Uh, yes, Marine Boot Camp. And it was really awesome seeing him and all of his fellow soldiers lined up. And it's really awesome. Uh, it's really good to have a brother in the military, not just because he goes out and does all the dangerous work to allow people like me to sit at home and make comics, but because he's picking up on all the cool lifestyle, terminology, and very soon we're going to be introducing a military character into the comic. And it's going to be really nice to have somebody with the inside knowledge who can help me with uh, writing his dialogue and just kind of coming up with his, his overall demeanor and attitude. I think that'll be really cool. All at the price of nothing because he's my brother and he gets to work for free. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, but yeah, this is basically Emma right there. Yeah, that's that's the ticket right there. It's just halfway down. Halfway down is her eyes and all that good stuff. All right, I'm going to see what you guys are saying over here. Um, <laughs> let us see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know what, okay, I'm trying to read this and simultaneously work at, at the same time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, I'll, I'll keep my eyes open for any suggestions you guys have. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep on drawing. Keep on drawing. I really want to draw another, uh, like, one thing I've noticed, guys, is that I absolutely love, I don't know if it's just from working at Riot or what the deal is, but I love drawing promotional work. I love taking characters that are already existing, the, you know, for these ones being mine, and then I love creating things to be made as prints, you know, so it's like, oh yeah, you got the comic and everything, but then you got these over here, and it's like, whoa, it's all nicely painted, and it's got, hopefully, well, hopefully it's nicely painted, and it's got like mood setting and lighting and all that in it, and you can take a lot more time on a painting like that than you can with just one panel of a comic. You kind of have to, you know, Take what you get. Take what you get and, and work with it. But I love doing promo art. I love do, doing the splashes for League de Leyendos. And I realize I just I just like doing that. I like taking sort of the finished product and then making it look even cooler. Hopefully generating hype and getting people excited about it. And uh, it just sounds funny, but I love doing promo art of my own comic. Like, it's so cool. I don't even think of it as... It's almost gotten to the point where I don't even feel like it's my comic anymore. You know? I mean, I know that I mean, I've had so many talented people jump on this project with me, and they're helping me out to the point where you know it's it's our project now. It's not just me anymore. I'm just the artist. You know, I'm just I'm just a part of the part of the puzzle. So that's really cool. It's a really cool feeling. All right. So anyway, enough of that. Enough mushy talk. Let's go ahead and get this in here. Let's not forget her ears here. Her ear lines up right with that same line that comes out like that. And also, we've been seeing a lot of uh, the cute, happy Emma. I need to get back into the mean Emma, angry Emma, which we will be seeing more of in the near future. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just hoping people are getting it now. Like. There's some people that still don't understand that Emma has two different sides to her. I'm like, oh no! Oh, I'm terrible! I'm a terrible storyteller! Oh, my comic sucks! I can't even convey the like the main point of this thing. This character is, has two sides, or schizophrenic, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, what, uh, what are you guys saying over here? I have no idea what you guys are saying. <laughs> um, mm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let us continue. Um, but yeah, I really like, I don't know, I just love drawing characters. I love doing prom promo art. Um, I want to, I really want to do this thing. And this was really like crazy when this happened. Um, I was literally talking about like a stained glass piece where it's basically like Emma like almost folding her hands, like praying or something like that. And then there's like all this ugliness around her, like it's all red and like like uh, like 
like these scary looking black trees with all their branches and stuff behind her, but then almost like a halo around her head. It would be like the blue sky and everything is like all nice and bright and cool looking. And not just literally after a week of saying that, freaking Alicia Watley from Australia, she makes an actual stained glass thing of Emma. You guys should go check that out. It's actually on the Facebook if you guys want to. It's really, really awesome. But And I didn't talk to her at all about it. I didn't talk to anybody about it. It was literally just an idea that I had and then somebody did. And that seems to happen every now and then. It's just, I don't know how it happens, but I get this idea and then boom, it's just like right there. Like somebody comes up to me and they're like, oh, hey, uh, I, I do just that. Or I just did it and check it out, you know? So I don't know how that happens, but I'm just going to keep rolling with that. Okay, so yeah, I really like this a lot. Actually, I'm feeling pretty dang confident about this. I like that. Okay. So I've done a couple Emma heads, and I do like those. But where I'm really having trouble is actually with Nico right now. Nico I'm having trouble with, specifically when he opens his eyes. Because usually Nico's eyes are like this, all right? They're very angular. So they're usually like that, right? But what do those eyes look like when they open? You know, do they look like that? You know, actually, that might be a good thing. That would actually be really nice. Because currently what I've been doing, I probably should have just done that. <laughs> what I've been doing is this. I've been opening them like this. Where they kind of curve at the top. And I'm afraid that that's a little bit too much like Emma's eyes. I don't know. Let me actually try that. Let me try the squared off eye. Let me see if that looks good. Okay. So... Yeah, I actually like that. With the squared off, it looks really nice. Huh, maybe I should have just been doing that the whole time. Hmm. All right, well, that's what we're doing today. We are experimenting with things that we should have done a long time ago. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Trying to figure things out we should have figured out a long time ago. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, see, see how the roundness, it just adds that extra, like, surprise to his eye. Whereas that doesn't. This looks surprised, but it's still, like, flat, so he's, like, it's almost like he's stunned, but he's not surprised. If that makes any sense at all, which it probably doesn't. But I'm just going to keep rolling with that. So, yeah, okay, good. Okay, so I wasn't an idiot for rounding the eye. It's always good. It's always good. Another um, interesting thing that I've been running into is, okay, so that's good for right now. This reminds me actually of the way that I used to draw anime girls. You want to know how I used to draw anime girls? All right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you right now. I would literally start with the eye because I used to look at all these different artists and I was like, whoa, the way this artist drew the eye is like really awesome. So, and it's like, but the face is really similar and they still have like the little button nose and the tiny mouth. So I said to myself, okay, the secret to drawing anime girls is just start with the eye. Start with the eye. Make the eye look really cool, right? Make the eye look really awesome, right? So I'd start with something like this. And then I'd, I used to do this thing where it was just the huge, like, globular eye of iris, right? I used to just do this. I used to do that. And, yeah, I think I would do something like that that I don't know and I, I put like a bunch of like highlights in it just like everywhere because like oh well good artists use lots of highlights so I get the more highlights the better so I just roll with that okay so I start with the eye once I got an eye that I was pretty fairly satisfied with then I would start like sculpting everything around it right and I was like oh yeah that looks really good it looks really good and this is, by the way, this is not how you're supposed to draw faces at all. You can do this for fun. In fact, it might still yield you some cool results if you're doing some concept work. I don't know. But in terms of drawing a full picture, you should never, ever start with the eye. Never start with like drawing a head and then attaching a body to it, kind of like I did over here. Um, if you're going to be drawing, if, if you want to draw a full pose or an action pose. But if you're just having fun, you're messing around like we are today, then you can go ahead and do that. 
Okay, so next I'd be like, hmm, where does the nose go? Okay, maybe like right there. Or how did I used to draw noses? I used to, because I used to draw noses all kinds of different ways. I think I used to do this one. I used to do this one a lot. I think this was one of my favorites, where it would like be this, like an upside down L. I used to do that one a lot. But now I like this one. I like to do them like this. More so like that. I'd be like, okay, and then the other eye is going to be somewhere in this region. Something like that. Perfect! Perfect! Hmm. Alright, and then let's add in some blush, right? Because blush is always good. Blush makes everything look better. It's an anime girl. And then I'd be like, okay, and then the mouth. Okay, okay. Alright, this is where all of the skill comes in. And you just... Ah, yes! Perfect! Then I would go on to the most important part, which is drawing the face around it and this is just so atrocious I don't even know if I could still do this uh, I'd be like oh, okay is that kind of right oh, okay that's close enough yeah yeah sure uh, that and that I'd be like okay well what's her hair gonna be like oh oh I know yeah maybe, maybe I'll make her like a fire girl right because that's super <laughs> awesome and original so let's make her a fire girl. Yeah, she'll have like fire hair. That'd be really cool. I'm, I'm not knocking anybody. I mean, if anybody's made a fire girl, it's probably way more cool and thought out than this. But I was like, okay, well, it makes her a fire girl. Oh, I know. Let's give her fire hair. Fire hair, like that. And I was like, oh, that doesn't really make sense. Could you actually do that with your hair? Maybe. And I just kind of like mess around with shapes until it looked like some semblance of something, right? I was like, okay, uh, let's also give her like these uh, pigtail things. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because uh, it's too big. Too big. Okay, and then it's like, yeah, let's give her like these pigtail things. Yeah. Awesome. I'm really good at drawing. Anime. The wrong way. <laughs> Drawing from an eyeball. Which again is okay. I'm not. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'm not even gonna try to explain myself. Oh yeah, and before I always used to make my hair like really big. So I was like, okay, well this hair needs to stick off like that. Yeah, really big hair. And it was always just off one side. One side would be super tame, you know, just like right, right against the the head, and the other end would just like stick out. So it's kind of like, uh, this looks like Tails. This kind of reminds me of Tails from uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Because of uh, these, these two things sticking out there. So this is uh, Anthro, Anthro Tails. That's what this is, Anthro Tails. Great. Great, I'm an Anthro artist now. That's so awesome. Because all of you know, even though I say I hate Anthro, I, I just, I, I'm a closet Anthro artist, that's what I am. Because on whatever Wednesday, when I'm picking your characters, I'm like, oh, let's see what cool characters are up for grabs today. And I always gravitate towards the animal ones. I don't, I don't know why. Like they say, people, people oftentimes criticize others for things they do or like themselves. So! All right, so those are Anthro Tales. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Oh man, we've been going for about 25 minutes. So I think you know what time it is. I think you know what time it is. It's time for Question Catapult! Animated by someone0956. Let's get it going. I still have not put your name on this. So sorry, someone. So sorry, but in the meantime, Please cast your questions over the castle walls, as has been instructed in this video. I'll answer them, and we'll have good times. Alright, and then we're going to end today's show. Someone, I said I was going to put your name on that freaking video, and I still haven't. I'm going to write it down on my things to do. Add someone's name or die. Okay, it's in my notes now. 
It's on my checklist. Therefore, it will get done. Any questions you have pertaining to anime, comics, whatever you have, go ahead and send them over the castle walls. We'll call it good. We'll call today good. I'm actually pretty excited for tomorrow. Pretty excited for tomorrow. In the meantime, uh, let's go ahead and just uh, color this Tails girl. Color Tails. Why not? Um, yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, come on. Work with me, Photoshop. Come on, baby. I can't wait to get a new rig. I'm going to get a new rig, guys. New rig is coming in. Coming in hot. Alright. Soon as I can afford one. Which will be soon, actually. It will be soon. Once you make it a must, it will happen. I know that, like, I say it this way. Like, if my computer seriously just died today, then I would find the ways and means to get a new computer. You know, because I need to keep making the comic. I need to keep making the show. So I just gotta pretend like that just happened. And then we'll just get the new rig. But we are getting a new place first, and I think I need to get settled. Once I get settled in the new place, then we'll get the new rig. How does that sound? Sounds really nice. Fire tails, girl. How nice. Mm -hmm. um, uh, let's see. Um, not seeing any questions, so if you guys are just completely stunned by the geniusness of tails, girl, that is fine. You can just sit here and watch me finish it off. And we'll end today. But if you did have any questions, please feel free. Now's the time to step up. Don't be bashful. What color are a tail's eyes? That's my question for you guys. Is his, are his eyes blue or green? Because I forgot. So please let me know. Please let me know. Hmm. Oh, I think the questions are just coming in because there's a freaking like 10 second delay on Twitch. So I'll get to those questions. Just a moment. In the meantime, please tell me what color Tails' eyes are so I can fix that. Right away. Right away. Okay. Okay. Ooh, nice. Nice. Oh! A little too nice. Oh. Okay, um, what? Something going on? Are you guys able to see what, uh, what I'm saying right now? Some people are saying in the chat things are not working. If you're having some trouble, please try to restart the stream. Yeah, just try to restart it. Worst that happens, you'll just have to catch it later on YouTube. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, it looks like some people are not able to see the stream. That that depresses me greatly. That depresses me greatly. Say something's going on with Twitch. Something has been happening with Twitch. I hope so. I hope it's not on my end. If it is, I do apologize. Apologize on behalf of the crappiness. Okay, speaking of that, why is this What's going on here? Okay. I thought for a second, someone posted in the chat, I was like, I would pay good money to hear what Keenan is saying right now. And I was like, what? Is the mic muted? Is the mic muted? No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. And now people are saying, hmm, in the chat. I don't know why you guys are saying that. There must be like a freaking couple minute delay on this thing. Because I've asked, I've asked a question. I have not gotten any answer yet. So I'm going to make a guess. Uh, let's go blue-green. Let's go blue-green. Blue-green helps. In the meantime, while everybody is dying in the chat, Blue green eyes. Hey, look at that. 
Uh, I don't like that blue. I, don't, I really don't like that blue. We're going to fix that blue. It's a little bit better. I just needed to gray it up a little bit. Gray it up. Okay, that's good. Color the lines and we'll call it good, peoples. Call it good. I am going to go ahead and darken these lines. And lighten the ones that I wish to be brighter. Such as the hair. And the nose and the skin. And basically everything except for the eyes. And the eyes, I will make a dark blue. Actually, I liked them a little bit more the way they were. Brilliant! Brilliant! Hmm. All right. And I think that's going to do it, peoples! I do apologize for everybody who's not able to see the stream today. I don't know what's going on, if it's Twitch or if it's something on my end. But I will do my best to figure out what's going on, and hopefully it will be resolved on the morrow. In the meantime, I'd like to say thank you all for those of you who were able to join me live, for joining me live on Twitch as usual. People on YouTube, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. My name is Keenan Lafferty. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow for Tutorial Tuesday. Until then, you guys sit tight, or sleep well, and take care of yourselves. See ya.